Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Ball Adventure Advance. Yeah, mouthful. And uh, today we take on Yamcha, the Scar-Faced Bandit. Well, the Desert Bandit, if you read. Anyway. Yeah, um... I'm gonna ruin this, uh, ruin this sort of uh, thing that I've got going. I'm gonna be doing these in post from now on because my commentary while actually playing the game is kind of crap. Also, dive kick, pretty good way to start a combo whenever you're in adventure, you know, the actual adventure mode, not 1v1 mode. And uh, you can look forward to me doing a little bit of 1v1 mode, especially in adventure mode later on. It'll, uh, it'll become important. And, uh, yeah, this battle, way too easy, especially if you dive kick. Um, yeah, way too easy. And... Bulma in a bunny suit. For no raisin. Yeah. And then Oolong. Also... This next level doesn't serve much of a purpose. Uh, even in the show, it didn't really serve much of a purpose. All it did, taught Goku the Kamehameha. I mean, sure, you may think that's a purpose, but not really, not in the game. It just tells you, okay, this is how you do the Kamehameha. Yeah. And yeah, that's actually how it works. And he puts out Fire Mountain, or rather, he puts out a large path in Fire Mountain, and uh, so Ox King can go up and do that. Also, if you haven't read Dragon Ball, do so immediately. If you haven't watched Dragon Ball, do so immediately. It's better than Z. Yeah, you're probably saying bullshit, but at the same time, it's better than Z. Even if it is based on uh, Journey to the West, it's better than Z. Because there's a lot of things based off of Journey to the West. And this does a really good job of telling that old story. Anyway, go in here, and my favorite level so far in the game, Pilaf's Castle. Um, there's an LP curse for a reason. Just so you know. It's because you have to keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Otherwise people are going to find you boring and other stuff. But to do that, you take your attention away from the game. And I've already gotten some criticism that I am too, uh, too quiet whenever it comes to games. I'm going to show off a little bit of what uh, this has to offer. Um, I might actually come back later to get the other item that's in here and go to the other path on uh, Pilaf's castle, but uh, yeah. I'm not going to record that one if I do it, because you guys you guys know Pilaf's castle by the end of this. Um, also, some of those green guys will continually respawn and, uh, and uh, will always drop health. It's one of those kinds of, uh, kinds of games. So yeah, um, keep in mind that uh, yeah, you can easily get hit right there. Just try not to run too fast, otherwise you just end up slamming into the thing. And this jump, jump, and keep going. I still don't know exactly how the throw gets you know gets uh, taken in, but uh, yeah. Also, I do a fantastically poor job in this uh, castle, even though the first time I played it off-screen, I had no problems with it. Whenever I got to recording, oh god, I couldn't do this for crap. Because I kept getting hit by things that I don't think I should have been hit by. Because I didn't get hit by him earlier. Also, you can wall jump. It's actually really hard to do because you've got to jump, press the opposite way, and then jump again. Yeah, jump towards the wall, jump the opposite way, and then bam. Like that. 
And you can jump up, wall jump, uh, quite a few places, and it's kind of cool that way. Power pole extend! Yeah, um, you don't see the power pole often in, uh, Dragon Ball Z, and that's kind of why Dragon Ball Z is, you know, kind of, we call it based off of food. But at the same time, it is based off of food. Because uh, I believe the story goes that Kira Toriyama is actually a foodie. He actually really enjoys food. So, uh, yeah. And over here, you can get uh, something. New, another continue. Uh, followed by another battle. Which really is not that hard. And just all the variety of enemies that you get and all the things that you can do here, all the people that you get to beat, the points that you get, it's really, really good. And you get quite a few continues if you do it like, or if you just play through this and just don't die. Um, yeah. I am very sorry. I kind of sucked that one up. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Um, but that's where this ball's gonna come from. And I still don't know how. Uh, Alright, this guy drops food and- Ah, oh, crap! Almost pro, almost pro! Ah, uh, screwed that up. Screwed it up bad. I could have probably let myself go. But yeah, obviously, continue. Um... As you can tell, I have a butt-ton more continues this time than I did last time. Uh, that's because, well, I kind of started on a different file to see see and test play the game. That way I'd have more to, to talk about whenever I was actually playing. And, it can, and I got too busy button mashing to actually do it. I consider going the top path and then say, nah, I'm just going to go to the bottom one because, hey, it's more fun to me. And I know for a fact that I can get stuff. Like uh, another Mosu... Another Mosu uh, gauge upgrade, and uh, also I can get the uh, bunny ears. I knew that. Well, no I didn't. This was the first time I actually picked up the bunny ears. Um, but yes, you can get that item in here. It's kind of cool. Also, I am so lucky that these aren't the red ones. The red ones explode whenever you get, uh, whenever you deal enough damage to them. Okay, keep going. Ah, uh, why did you have to come out? Also, this guy? Bam. He never appears again. Yeah. Dive kick in this game? Pretty OP in this section. You can't actually dive kick in, uh... In the er, in the one-on-one -on -one section, so you can't uh, get this kind of combo. So yeah, you just keep running along, running along. Try not to get hit by the spikes whenever that happens. And then uh, yeah, come to this point. And you beat a few more people. The exclamation point areas. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah. There's gonna be... Yeah, that. That always hits me the first time. I always forget it's there. And then you just get overcautious from that point on over what's gonna happen. And fuck up like that. Man, I forgot I died there. But luckily, whenever you do those continue things, always available in the same exact spots. Even though, right now, I don't start... It starts you in the beginning of the room where you were at. So, I'm lucky that I, you know, made it here, but I'm unlucky as well. That uh, I can't get that same continue. Because continues are always in the same spot, and will always respawn. 
and enemies tend to respawn too, as you can see. Now, gonna go through here. I'm gonna waste a little bit of your time, honestly. This is how you get a few things. This is a uh, full health that I'm going after now, which I didn't actually need. Um, well, I think I am. Uh, yeah, that's a hamburger. Okay. I was wrong. Yeah, that was a waste of time, so. Okay, now what's over here? No. There, yeah. I think this is another continue. I'm gonna waste a bit of time trying to Kamehameha these things, because that orange power-up that you saw gives you, uh, yeah, gives you stuff. Infinite, uh, soul gauge. Key gauge. And I was trying to get through there, not realizing that's, uh, where I originally came down. Yeah. Oh! Stupid, stupid. Stupid. Quit jumping into spikes. He just fell to his death. Yeah, oh well. Ow. Stupid. That was actually pretty good. Jump. Yeah, there are times whenever you really need to learn the wall jump. And, uh be very proficient at it. That was one of them. And here's the bunny suit! See? <sighs> okay, now I need health. Badly. Oh, come on, you didn't drop health? Damn. I've gotta stop jumping into freaking spikes. And bullets. And spikes. Okay, that had taken care of one of those shots. There's one more back. And, yeah. So yeah, for better quality gameplay, I'm gonna be recording these after the fact. Stop shooting me! Yeah, you stop shooting me. That's what I asked for. This is the full heal. That's right. Yeah, no, that's actually really tricky to do, especially whenever you're talking. So, I, I had originally done some commentary on it beforehand, and uh, that came out as, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking enough. Just about every other line. And, uh, now you get a better commentary. I guess. Ah, uh, I fell. Yeah, here we go. Back up. Also, enemies always respawn. Always. So that means this purple guy's gonna be here again. Bam. Much better. Yeah, I can get, like, a seven-hit combo off of the, uh, thing there. Off of the jump kick. The dive kick. Yeah, dive kicks are not the hypest thing, but at the same time in this game, they made them bearable. This and dive kick. Which, yes, I am looking forward to dive kick. I would love to play as the Baz first in any game ever. Yes, I know, go that way. Jump and... At this point, I don't really care about uh, infinite, or, you know, respawning health people. Even though there are a few at this point in the game. But yeah, it's, uh... 
I didn't realize he was dead. It's a thing, if you need it, there are certain people, the green are most likely the ones who are going to carry the uh, food and always drop it. Everyone else is uh, random chance, so I wouldn't recommend going against them. That guy is a uh, always food person, so you see. You can use him to the, your advantage in that case. And pro, 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 oh. Okay, what's up here? I can't get up there. Damn. Okay. Keep running. Defeat these guys again. Try to keep full health because Emperor Pilaf is coming. For those of you who don't know Emperor Pilaf, well, read and watch Dragon Ball. Some of you have seen him in GT. GT does not do him justice. And I'm gonna waste a little bit more time, even though I know that I can't get up there. And screw it. Once again, stay behind the boulder. And this one you can't. So just beat the crap out of this guy. And this guy. And there is your first soul gauge upgrade. And these are the red ones that I was talking about. See how they blow up? Yeah, they do damage to you. So that's why you see me walking out of the way. There's another infinite respawn uh, point for health. So yeah, if you ever get low on health there, right there is a guy who can give you health. And I shoved that robot through a wall. Ah, I got hit by a grenade. And no, I wasn't intending to catch a grenade from him. Because I know he won't do the same. Yeah, um, sorry about that. I had to make that pun. But yes, after the match with Pilaf, this episode will be called because it is getting way too long. And uh, here I am, just trying to try out the Kamehameha. Bam. Got one guy. And there's some health. And there's the end of the Soul Gauge Extend. Bam. Dead. Good. Emperor Pilaf is coming up. Very, very soon. I'm almost to the end of this part of the level. Yeah. Okay. That should be it. And there was another health. And here's Emperor Pilaf. Yes, Pilaf the Great. Also, he's self-proclaimed Emperor of the World. And he's always trying to get the Dragon Balls. Why he's not in Z, I don't know. But uh, Garlic Jr. is basically him. Uh, focus on Pilaf because he takes the most damage from you and he has the least health. Then you focus on his little assistant. I think his name is Chu. Or Shu. Also, in boss battles, you have infinite soul gauge, so... 
try not to get hit by his throw like I have, because that only, you know, limits you even more to what you've got. And be careful of the flamethrower. Shu has a flamethrower. I'm actually surprised they don't have the woman here. The woman's actually my favorite of the uh, people. And I have got to do the rest of this without being hit. Okay. Let's see if I am up to the challenge. Of doing next to no damage to Shu. And uh, him being harder to hit with the Kamehameha. Yeah, I still... I think I hit him once in this entire part, so... When he's flying, he's invulnerable. And he just loves to jump. And uh, just so everyone knows, right here... Whenever I was recording, my screen went fuzzy. And I flipped the fuck out. So, yeah, you get to deal with uh, pause break. This guy will not stand still from here on out, and it's... I think I get hit once. Yeah, right there. And now? Yeah. I really hate Shu in this fight. Because if he's not jumping up like that, he's using his flamethrower. And I really hate him. Because he doesn't get hit. he gets the invulnerability frames, and it really sucks. And there, finally, Jesus. Anyway, I will leave you guys with this, and until next time, enjoy yourselves.